hello everyone it's Dari here at scrum mastered and uh, we're doing something different today i have ryan ripley here with me from agile for uh, for humans and uh we have decided to um talk a little bit about that scrum master role a lot of people um reaching out and asking how do i become a scrum master how do i get my first job how do you pass the interview so we thought why don't we go over some of those tough interview questions and try to play them out, answer them, and to give you some ideas of how you can go into the next interview and um, absolutely wow the interviewer with your knowledge of Scrum and uh, with uh, how you're going to uh, help the organization be successful. So today um, I'm being the inter interviewee and Ryan had uh, prepared a good question to ask me and I hope I can answer it uh, in the way that uh, Ryan would hire me. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I would. Uh, in all fairness, I stole this question from Daria. So it is a really good question. Um, so Daria, thanks for being here. So happy that you're interviewing for this uh, fictitious company. It's great to have you here. What are the essential skills you have that are necessary for the Scrum Master role? Yeah. yeah. So um, for me, the Scrum Master really is a role about helping the team understand Scrum, you know, become more effective, um, figure out some tools and practices that work for them. So I think that skills that are related to teaching, coaching, mentoring, uh, facilitating discussions are very important. And those are the skills that I myself focus on when um, I'm developing the skills. And uh, so teaching is definitely one of those skills that um, I have. And um, this really helps me when I work with the teams because I can explain complex concepts. Right? And a lot of things that we teach Agile Scrum have a lot of pretty complex concepts. And I believe that this really helps me make it easier for them and make it much more practical, practical and actionable. Um, and then another skill that I definitely um, have and continue to, um, to improve is the facilitation skill. I think that this is where I can help the team come up with the best solutions uh, without me telling them uh, what they are without me giving them solutions, but instead really letting them figure out what will work for them. Because, you know, I'm not there to be a scrum police and tell them what to do. That's not my role there. This is really about enabling and empowering the team in making some of those decisions. So teaching and uh, facilitation, those are the kind of the key ones that I focus on and continue to develop, of course. Um, and yeah, the other two that I mentioned were coaching, mentoring, right? And I think that kind of builds on top of the teaching skill, really. Just another way of how I can help the team and the team members to become more effective, more successful. So, yeah. Yeah, it, it's really interesting the way that you're, you're talking about some of these skills. You mentioned coaching, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, you know, we, we were thinking about getting some agile coaches in the organization. I mean, how would you see as a scrum master, how would you see yourself working with those those agile coaches who are also trying to provide coaching in the org? I think that can be a good way um, for uh, me and the agile coaches, if this is kind of the structure that is currently in your organization, to work together. Um, because um, I am working with the team, of course, on a daily basis, but I also still continue to work with the rest of the organization, right? So I'll continue to work with uh, management, executive teams. And I think um, if you have agile coaches, we can partner and uh, look for ways how we can help each other, right? Looking for maybe different coaching opportunities together, um, whether it is maybe facilitating workshops together or uh, just working on uh, setting up some um, agreements, processes, or things that will work um, in the organizational role as um, we're maybe working on different levels if that's kind of the expectations that you have, uh, but there is always many opportunities to partner. Yeah, oh, I, I appreciate the answers, thank you. And so, so Daria, I, as expected, just a, a great, solid answer to to both questions. The follow-up, uh, I'll, I'll start there. 
was really trying to get your viewpoint on scrum master versus agile coach, mm -hmm. right? Do we need those yeah. coaches? And when, and I, and I think you, you picked probably the smartest, um, smartest direction. So I, I would have gone in the dumb direction. Like <laughs> I, I think I would have said the scrum master is the agile coach. I'd be more than happy to, and that's really divisive. And yeah. I, I like how, how you're, you're really bringing forward that spirit of partnership. And I think that's what a scrum, ma scrum master initially in, in most organizations needs to embody. Right. Yeah. And so I thought that was excellent. Um, when you talked about the skills, sticking with the, the scrum, ma the bread and butter of scrum mastery, right. You got the teaching, the coaching, the facilitation, the mentoring. I mean, why, why go away from that? Why get clever yeah. and fancy with, well, I'm a visual facilitator. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> no, this is not a, this is not fancy time. This is bread and butter scrum master, like the, the meat and potatoes type. Maybe I'm hungry. I'm not sure why I'm using these analogies, <laughs> but the, like the, the basic skill set. And I yeah. just, uh, I think those are great answers too. And it, you know, you, you express this idea that you're, you hold off on providing all the solutions that you're trying to get the teams empowered to, to answer those, those solution issues. Um, it just shows a, a very subtle and strong understanding of, of the role. Mm -hmm. And so I think that's just, I, I would encourage, you know, all of you watching out there to go back and listen to what she said again, because it, it just gives that subtle, like, I know what I'm doing. I, I understand this role and I'm going to come in here and be a force for good, but it's not this overt, here's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Here's what I'm going to, it's, it's a nice, subtle discussion of, of that role. So it was, I, I loved it. I, I think it's just a really great answer to a very deceptively simple question, right? <laughs> yeah. I, I think this is a really good question that can help um, the interviewer understand um, how the interviewee actually would be performing this role. Right. Yeah. I think through this discussion of skills, you can see that, right? If it comes into more specific skills, uh, maybe even very, very specific skills that are not even related to Scrum Master role, say product backlog management or, or something like that, then you can immediately see some of those red flags um, as an interviewer. Yeah. And um, that's why I think, as you say, focus on what, what are the key skills? What is the yeah. most important? And you don't need to get too creative. I and mean, it is very straightforward, teaching, coaching, mentoring, and facilitation, you know? Yeah. Um, stop there and that's good enough, yeah. This is also one of those types of questions where I think if you're being interviewed that you can take control of the interview off of this mm -hmm. question, right? So I think that's a skill. So interviewing is a skill. And when you get a question like this, I think it's if um, if you're ready to kind of flip the script a little bit back on the interviewer, you could say, you know, out of all those things that I talked about, what do you think the organization could need most mm -hmm. from me? Yeah. And you flip that question back and then you start because remember, when you're sitting in that seat, I know we're all trying to get that first scrum master role, trying to get that first scrum master job. But you got to make sure that this is a good fit for you, too. And so yeah. if you flip that question back and you say, you know, out of all those skills I talked about, which one do you need the most? Well, suddenly you're going to find out perhaps some of the issues that that organization is having. If they start talking about, you know, our, our executive leadership is really struggling to let go of control of top down planning and the teams are really frustrated because dates are being imposed. Now you kind of get a viewpoint of what you're getting into yeah. and, and some of the issues that you're going to be seeing as you work to, to, to facilitate and coach and teach and mentor. I think that's a really smart move with a question like this to really kind of sneak in a question of your own, ask the interview of, interviewer about the org related to your answers. And it gives you the opportunity to catch your breath a little bit, but to <laughs> yeah. also find out a little bit about the company that you're you're potentially going to be a scrum master at. Yeah. And I think this is a very good point and that's something maybe we don't talk about enough is that it's not only about you kind of getting the job, it's also making sure that the job you're getting is a good fit for you and yep. that is what about what you want to do, right? And uh, yeah, turning back those questions or as asking follow-up questions, trying to understand what kind of challenges the organization is going through and what their expectations are for you is yep. definitely needed when you are going through the interview so that you can see whether you want to come in and help this organization, right? Yeah. If it's a good fit.
Yeah. And there's a lot of opportunities to do that when they start asking you about, well, what are the metrics that you measure to, to work with a team? So give your, your good answer there and say, well, what are the metrics that you would use to measure my effectiveness? Mm -hmm. yes. And you can almost every question like that can be turned back in a, in a good way to help you get that information. So think about that tactic um, as you're interviewing, because sometimes it's good to get the heat off of you for a little bit and to learn a little bit about that organization, right? Yeah, definitely. Great. Right. Awesome. Well, that was a great question. And as I said, we're trying something new. We're uh, looking into how we can help Scrum Masters uh, become Scrum Masters, right? The people to get their first job, pass the interview, and actually start in the Scrum Master role and uh, be successful, kind of as put that foundation in. So we, I hope you like this video. Uh, we'll continue to um, to look into how else we can help. And if you have any specific tough questions, interview questions that you got, then put them in the comments there and uh, maybe we'll make a video on one of those questions uh, in the future. But yeah. Daria, you have to answer the toughest ones. <laughs> of course, <laughs> of course. <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ryan. Uh, thank you, everyone. And I hope to see you next time. All right. Take care.